So we start from the beginning, and when we change our state from, uh, you can say, normal casual state, non-qigong state, into a qigong state, what is the main difference? <laughs> Generally, you can say, the, when we get into the qigong state, we begin to get in touch with the insubstantial quality of the physical body. So normally, we, we only in touch are aware of the physical quality of the body. We don't, we don't feel uh, not much aware the uh, insubstantial quality of the body. The insub insubstantial quality is the, the um, energy or the spirit. So um, when we get in touch with the qi, it means we begin to get in touch with the the insubstantial quality of the body, <coughs> which is um, both the, we say, the subtle, essential nature of the physical body, and also the, the life force or life energy that, like, coming to us through the space or from the space. Can you close that down? In the, like an essential nature of our physical body is normally experienced as solid and uh, heavy and physical. And also we feel the link connection with a, like a cosmic energy, sometimes a cosmic chi or life force. That is really what enables us to live and uh, sustain our life and also capable of taking our life away. So that's a, like a general qigong state. When, when we activate the qi, that's what it means. <clears throat> Realize the essential, insubstantial nature of our physical body, our physical existence. Then we have a certain experience. Once the qi is activated, we begin to feel different. So you can say, in this kind of uh, context, we're going to talk more in with the intention of explaining the particular experience of the internal alchemy. You can put it as, uh, at first we have some smoky, flaming period. <laughs> so like starting the fire with the wood, you have a period that the flame come out and also a lot of smoke, probably accompanied with some noise as well. And uh, there's a difficult state for the, for the fire. <laughs> the smoke would go out a long way, and the flame is uh, untamed. It's a wild, uh, probably 10... Uh, more, more bluish than yellow reddish. <laughs> so it's a, it's a rather turbulent. So when we first uh, get into the qi experience, uh, that's of course after our, our qi is really activated, we have get the uh, empowerment or initiation. And we can have a smoky period, <laughs> like a lot of misty air, smoky air around us. A lot of uh, like a cold, damp air coming out. Well, the fire is also starting. So we feel the power, feel the heat in some way, but also there's a struggle. So in, the, in this stage is it's like there's a lot, uh, a lot to be uh, discharged. The smoky part is to be discharged. And also a lot to be burnt away. So maybe related with the dumps is some, uh, some, some elements that are not supposed to be in the fire. 
you can have dust, some muddy kind of elements. A lot of things are not supposed to be in the wood or in the fire. It has to be burnt away. Then the, then the wood is realizing it's far more with this process going on. In, the, in this period, the fire is not fully in the body of the wood. Even the fire go out. The flame is out of the wood, actually. So we first uh, feel our chi. If there's a lot of negative energy manifesting, um, a lot of discharge of negative energy. Then we also feel like even our positive energy is not fully embodied in the body. It's a bit scat scattered here and there, and it's not really fully contained in the body. That's sometimes we also describe as a like, more like a casual kind of random stage of our Qigong practice. So when we first initiated in the practice, the power just started work, energy just become activated, but we are not in a good order. We have a lot of negative side to be clear, transformed. And we respond from wherever we are, whatever we need. So it's a, a lot of rather chaotic, uh, random, uh, messy kind of reaction. It can be sensational, powerful, but also rather unorganized, disorderly and uh, chaotic. And say so we go through this period and still using the metaphor of the fire, smoke more or less went out, all the alien elements like dust or mud and uh, connected with the wood, all burnt away, all the kind of humidity dried up, all the smokes discharged, <laughs> then the fire would become uh, different. The fire would be more fully in the body of the wood, and the blue, blue color disappears, it's more become a warm color, <laughs> yellowish, reddish, and. Uh, Mm, really more mellow. Eventually the flame disappears, only fire, no, no flame, like that kind of period. In the Chinese character, the qi that indicating energy instead of the normal air, written as when the flame disappears, when the fire gone. So, like flameless, flameless fire is qi, the real qi. Like in the, the burning metal or rock, the volcano eruption, there's no flame, only heat, only fire. So that's like, more like proper fire. No smoke, no, no flame. Pure heat, uh, which is fully with the substantial part. So burning metal, the fire is with the liquid. The heat goes out a long way, but the liquid is a fire. It's a burning liquid. In the rock, when it's uh, become uh, volcano-like, it's, it's like that. Yeah. So that's like the real fire, the proper state of fire. Now from this state, it's not so casual. Our energy state began to be more organized. The physical body and the, the insubstantial quality is more fully together. And the liquid, the kind of uh, yeah, liquid nature of the physical body, the physical body becomes the liquid. The liquid is the sub substantial body. <coughs> And the fire is embodied in, the, in this substantial body. And the light also fully come out, not shadowed, not, not uh, blocked by smoke. So that's more water, fire, and uh, light together. 
So the proper, the proper kind of um, internal alchemy experience should be like this. Of course, if we haven't had other trainings, we'll still go through the casual period, which is not, not exactly internal alchemy experience, but would lead, lead us to there. It's clearing, clearing the way. Now, when it's come to this state, it's more of an organized, orderly state of energy, not so random and casual, not so messy. It's more um, orderly. Then, as an experience, we also feel the kind of turbulence, chaotic reactions, at least able to come down. We, we are able to go over that. And our mind and energy and uh, body can be in harmony. At first, genuinely, it's difficult to be in harmony. The mind is difficult to be still, difficult to be focused. The energy is untamed, it's a bit wild. And, uh, and our body is uh, suffering, a lot of pain and tension and uh, struggling with a lot of things. So it's not, not in harmony. So when we get into a more orderly state, more balanced, worked out state, that should be the, uh, strictly speaking, is the internal alchemy kind of experience uh, starts. Now, initially, we would uh, feel, as an experience, say we start with uh, internal alchemy practice. Initially, we would feel quite difficult to get our energy really back into the body. We feel it floating around us. <laughs> A lot is uh, uh, manifesting, and uh, a lot of energy is discharging all floating around the body. The negative energy is, is discharging, like going away, being um, got rid of, or we say downloaded, evaporated out of the body. <coughs> but we also feel our positive energy is not fully with, with the body, not fully in the body. So internally, we can feel certain part of the body is a chunk block, dark and heavy and difficult to be permeated by the qi. So it means the qi is not fully embodied. So the fire is like flaming, it's out of the body. And the light is not fully embodied. So in the body there's a lot of dark corners, we, we often say. So to do with uh, to do the internal alchemy practice, a very big thing is to get our energy tamed and uh, curved and uh, embodied. <laughs> like we physical body want to fully absorb the, the pure energy so that it's not leaking, not floating around. Now the most difficult part is the uh, light the light aspect of the energy. So we often talk about the, the long tail sticking out of the comet as an illustration or an analogy. So the comet is falling and the, there's a long tail sticking out, which is a dispersed light. The light began to disintegrate from the physical body. Actually, in our casual, ordinary state, we have a lot of this. Our light, the body light is not fully in the body. So our shen, our spirit, is not fully embodied in the physical body. It's actually, to some degree, always a bit uh, split. It. So there is a, a quite important concept in the internal alchemy practice, which is to to make the shen to return to the qi cavities. Now, if we want to 
push this uh, long tail sticking out of the body back into the body is not so easy. So we force it to come back, it wouldn't happen. So we have to find a route, find a proper route or way for the light to, to come back. And we have to make room in the physical body for the light to come back. Otherwise, why is it going out anyway in the first place? Because there's no, no room left for it. And what happened with the room? <laughs> it's uh, covered up. It's dusty and uh, shadowy energy. And uh, mostly reflected in the cavities of the body. The cavities are the inner space. Between physical parts, there are space. The most important space, the you know, vital kind of space, that are where the energy of the physical parts gathers. And uh, these are cavities. And the link between the cavities are the meridians or channels. So normally these spaces are stuffy. Stuffy means it's full of dusty, smoky air, gassy kind of air, and it's settled. Smoke is also shadow. The smoke come out and it leaves shadow on the ground. Well, fire wouldn't. So, so the uh, smoky, dusty air is also shadow in relation to light. So you know, casual state, random state, or rather kind of chaotic state, especially when we are quite uh, ill, uh, unhealthy, it's more, more of the case, that our inner space is occupied by this uh, dusty, set, smoky air and shadowy kind of uh, quality. So I often say, when the wood is uh, damp, the damp part is uh, smoky air, and also dark, darker. That part is shadow the wood. <laughs> it's darker than the rest. So it's close, the wet part is darker than the rest. That's like a shadow. So we have to evacuate, clean up the cavities. Open the cavities up, let the damp air to evaporate like smoke, like mist, and let the shadow shift. When the smoke come out, the shadow also shifting. When the wood dry up, the darkened part disappears. So it is, has an equal amount of brightness. Then it also means the shadow is shifted. <coughs> So this is what we need to do internally, to open our cavities and to let the, the, the kind of uh, smoky, shadowy elements of energy to be discharged, to be freed. Then the light can come back. The pure fairy and the light energy can come back. Then our spirit returns to the qi cavities. Then the, in the qigong jargon, the shen and the qi and the physical body, which in nature is liquid, are together, which are more like the more mature state of the fire. Then the body, energy, and the light, spirit, are more together. And the mixture of them um, has a lot of uh, functions, it's like an alchemic kind of uh, stage or process. Because the whole process, the whole kind of uh, uh, process to, to work out from the rather casual state into a more transformed, refined state, 
It is like more like a chemical alchemic process. That's a kind of alchemy we talk about. It says in internal alchemy means that's all the kind of inner experience we can have within our body. It's not uh, not some other alchemy that to do with uh, chemical substance or medicine, medicine uh, kind of um, practice. So the alchemy is a metaphor to uh, express the kind of inner experience we can have on an energy level. And if we can work out the energy process in this way, it means we will be able to realize the essential energy that we have within us, the true kind of fire and light, which has great power, which can uh, burn away all the alien elements like germ and viruses and all kinds of things shouldn't be in our system. Therefore, we would have healing power. And also, we would realize the, the true lively nature of our body, which often has we have lost it to a certain degree when we started to do the practice. So in the internal alchemy tradition, uh, the, the kind of energy um, we can get in touch with is also called medicine, inner medicine. So the qi, the heat, or the whole, yeah, the whole kind of inner energy has healing power. So it's also described as uh, inner medicine. So this medicine would enable us to, to rejuvenate our life and to, uh, to stay healthy and to live a long life. 